Hello everyone. The goal for this video is to visualize determinant of a composite matrix. That is, the determinant of a composite matrix is same as the product of determinants of its individual matrices. I'd like to point out that visualizing this property heavily relies on you being able to interpret matrices as transformations of space. If that sounds unfamiliar, I highly recommend you check out the series Essence of Linear Algebra from 3 Blue and Brown. To start off, consider a matrix A with columns 2, 0 and 1, 2, which is a way of representing a transformation that takes i hat over to the coordinates 2, 0 and j hat over to the coordinates 1, 2. By comparing the areas of the parallelogram spanned out by our standard basis vectors and that of the transformed basis vectors, we see that the transformation scales areas. And the exact factor by which a 2 by 2 transformation scales areas of space is said to be its determinant. And in this case, it's easy to see that the transformation scales areas by a factor of 4, which is to say that the matrix A has got a determinant of 4. A key feature of any linear transformation is that it scales areas evenly throughout the space, which is to say that whatever happens to that unit area during the transformation happens to any other area irrespective of its shape and size. And this follows from the inherent properties of linear transformations that keep the grid lines parallel and evenly spaced while fixing the origin in place. Now consider another matrix B with columns 2, 0, negative 1, 1, representing a transformation that takes i hat over to the coordinates 2, 0 and j hat over to the coordinates negative 1, 1. And again, by comparing the area spanned by the standard basis and that of the transformed basis, see that the transformation B scales areas. But this time, the factor by which the areas get scaled is 2, meaning the transformation represented by B has a determinant of 2. And remember that this factor 2 applies to the entire vector space. Multiplying matrix B to matrix A is just an equivalent of asking the question, where do the basis vectors defined by the matrix A land on during the transformation B? And in this case, the ultimate landing spots for our basis vectors happen to be 4, 0 and 0, 2 respectively. During the transformation B, the area set out by the transforming basis vectors get scaled by some factor. What do you think that factor is? We have already seen that the transformation B scales areas by a factor of 2. And linearity is going to imply that any area should get scaled by that same factor which means that the areas spanned out by the transforming basis vectors also get scaled by that same factor too. I want you to focus on the fate of that unit area spanned by the basis vectors during the transformations A, then B. That unit area during the transformation A ends up getting scaled by a factor of 4. And that new area during the transformation B ends up getting scaled by a factor of 2. And that final area spanned by the basis vectors is nothing but the determinant of the composite matrix BA, which in this case turns out to be 4 times 2, or the determinant of A times the determinant of B. That's the formula we have aimed to visualize. The determinant of a composite matrix is the product of determinants of its individual matrices. Also, there is nothing special about the matrices A and B chosen here. This property applies to any number of matrix compositions as long as each matrix represents a linear transformation. As an exercise, try to check if the formula makes sense when one of the matrices collapses space into lower dimensions.